topic was continuously talked about at nearly every conference, VR. Bethesda, EA, and Sony showcased VR to its extent, with arguably Bethesda leading the way. They had Doom and Fallout 4 actually on the showroom floor to demo. For the future, fans have Star Wars Battlefront, Batman Arkham, and Final Fantasy XV to look forward to on VR. Bethesda wowed audiences for the second year in a row, capitalizing on the success of their current titles while outlining their plan for the future. Kicking things off with a new Quake and wrapping it up with Dishonored 2, Bethesda have taken the crown for developer conferences once again. Sony picked up right where they left off last year, sticking with the plan of announcing AAA title after AAA title. No new hardware to report, which is shocking considering the rumors surrounding the PS4.5. Instead, Sony unveiled new IPs and sequels to historic franchises, which seemed to be enough to distract fans from the lack of a hardware announcement. Nintendo's live events have recently been underwhelming. The only announcement they made was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which, ironically, is the most talked about game of E3. No mention of NX, a disappointing Pokemon presentation, and lack of other titles left fans a little bit confused.